How significant the fact has it been that Mason Mount has lost the last two games and you've lost both games? Is it is it a big contribution to that? Yeah, but we need to be we need to be careful. We we took him out at halftime because he had a bit of a, a, a rough halftime at Tottenham, and everybody was so highly speaking about us in the second half. And he was not on the pitch, and suddenly he's missing. And now he's uh, it's not on single players. Of course, we want to have Mason, and of course we know how an energy he gives, and of course we miss him. But we cannot start reducing our performances on looking at the players who are missing. Do we miss NG? Yeah, of course, every team in the world misses N'Golo Kante. Do we miss uh, Mason if he is on his best level? Of course, that's why he plays for us. That's why he's a tough player. Do we miss Reese James? Yes, of course. And still, there would be a selection to take and we could only start with 11 players against Juve. And maybe we would have started without Mason, but then we have him from the bench. Do we miss Christian Pulisic? Of course, we miss sprints and intensity. But it needs to be on the best level then, and it needs to be a good fit. So we have a, a squad, and we have the, uh, the duty, as me as a coach, to find solution. And it's, it's possible to win games without Mason Mount. And, and hopefully he knows that, that with how much respect and how much I love him. Thomas, do you feel like standards have slipped in the last two games? Or has it been the case that you've come up against two really good opponents? Two very different opponents, like I said, two very extreme style of play and very different style of play from Man City, high pressing ball possession to no ball, almost no ball possession and deep defending from, from Juventus. But of course, the, both clubs have personality, both clubs have experience, both clubs have, have the players to, to hurt you. This can happen in any match of football, we know this. If it happens, it does absolutely not feel good. And uh, did we play at our very best level? No. So we had the feeling that, that Manchester City made us underperform on this very day, on the very special day at Stamford Bridge. Uh, we felt us very well prepared and, and uh, in total different circumstances um, um, to play against Juventus. Could we reach our very best level? No, it's hard if you're, if you're responsible for, for the rhythm, if you're responsible for the energy, if you're responsible for the intensity. Uh, and um, it's, a, it's a concentration game in the end, you know. It reminds me 100% to our game in Bucharest when we played against, against Atletico. And, and we finally ended up to play, to play almost a similar game um, and win it 1-0 by a goal that was ruled out by offside and then given by VAR and it was a bicycle kick. So we did not have much chances, maybe no chance at all, and we did not give chances away. But don't forget, it was like it was in Bucharest. It was without spectators, so it was maybe also a bit easier to be calm, to be focused, to be concentrated. And 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 now it gets a bit tougher to play away games in against big teams like this with this kind of personality. We will not be the last team to to lose against Juventus. And it was like if you if you. The, the difficulty and the danger in these matches is that the result in the end tells you the story about the match. If you lose 1-0, you're not sharp enough, you, are, you lack intensity, you are, um, uh, and, and everything falls into place when you know the result. If you win this 1-0, or maybe Romelu scores and you, 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 you go away with a draw, you go like, we stayed calm, we stayed passionate, we waited until this one chance came. And you, 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 you speak about this game very, very differently. There's obviously some um, injury news as well, because Mason Mount and Reese James were both included in the England yeah. squad yesterday. Uh, was that done with your blessing? Does that mean that they are fit to play this weekend? You would assume so, no? But uh, yeah. I was, I was uh, when, I, when I saw it, I thought that maybe, maybe uh, Reese goes with the water polo team for England, because uh, right now he trains in the pool. So I was a bit surprised, but uh, I understood that he was selected for the for the football team. So this will not happen because uh, Reese is training in the pool right now. So my understanding, my last information is that he will not go. So it can only be a misunderstanding, nothing else. And for Mason, of course, uh, Mason is in the squad. Mason is back. It was not a long injury. It was a minor injury, and we're happy that he's back. And, and it's uh, obviously a given that he's, that he's nominated and he's happy to be nominated and will give everything to do his best in for his England squad. Do you think it was the right decision for Ben Chilwell not to be in the squad at, at, at 
this stage of the season. For him personally? Yeah. No, it would be nice to be selected. He's happy to play for, for England, he's proud to play for England, he has the quality to play for England. He had a bit of a rough start, he was a bit unlucky and, and he has his own story, like every player has his individual story. And um, this is it, but I can understand that he has to, and, and for sure Chile understands that he has to earn it and earn, he needs to earn it with minutes. And he did not have too many minutes, so we can understand why he's not selected. It's not a big drama. I think he can accept and, and there is no, no need to, to, to worry about it. Um, once he plays more minutes for us and plays with quality, he will be, he will be, he will have the chance to be selected again. But it's one step after another. Now we've seen a little bit isolated in the last two or three games. Yeah. Is there still an adjustment taking place from his part, but also from the team's part as well, in terms of yeah. trying to work to his best strengths? Yes and no, because we all, he was he was fully involved in the very first game against Arsenal, and then he was uh, like also if you if you look at the second half against Tottenham, he was involved in in chances, in assisting for for Timo Werner, in uh, in first half in connection with Mason Mount. I think that that also football right now is about connections, and and Romelu, I feel a strong connection with Mason Mount. I feel a strong connection with Matteo Kovacic. They look for each other and and they have a genuine understanding. And Everybody else lacks it a little bit, and we need to learn. We need to adapt. We need to create and 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 understand each other better, of course. But yeah, like I said, we had games where he was fully involved. Now we had games like against Manchester City. Every, of course, he was isolated. Manchester City made him be isolated, and and our build-up play and our transition made him be isolated. Of course, there will always be matches like this in in in, in Juve where there is no place to go, there is no place to be involved. Sometimes you have, as a, there, these games exist, so this is maybe not the reference game for, for link-up play. You know, we would talk maybe totally different if he, if he would have scored in the 80-something in the minutes. It's normally a chance that he, that he normally scores for us and then he would be again a decisive player. So, yeah, it's, it's right and, and uh, it's right and nothing major to worry about, but we are aware of it.